touch anything, Draco. Yes, Father. But Master Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. And young Master Malfoy too, delighted. I must show you, just in today, and very reasonably priced. I'm not buying today, Morgan. I'm selling. Selling? Draco? You are aware, no doubt, that the Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids on private houses. There's even rumours of a new Muggle Protection Act. Pure wizard blood is counting for less everywhere, I'm afraid. Not with me. Anyway, I brought a few items from home that might prove uh, <clears throat> embarrassing for the Ministry at all. Those poisons and the lag. That particular item is not for sale. Exactly. Sorry, Father. Come on, we go. It's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Murph. Oh. Now, now, Draco, play nicely. Mr. Potter. Lucius Malfoy. We meet at last. Forgive me. Your scar is legend, as of course is the wizard who gave it to you. Voldemort killed my parents. He was nothing more than a murderer. Hmm. He must be very brave to mention his name. Or very foolish. Fear of a name only increases fear of the thing itself. And you must be Miss Granger. Yes, Draco's told me all about you and your parents. Muggles, aren't they? Let me see. Red hair, vacant expressions. Tatty, second-hand book. You must be at the Weasleys. Children, there's a man in here. Let's go outside. Well, well, well. Weasley Senior. Lucius. Is your time at the Ministry, Arthur? All those extra raids? I do hope they're paying you overtime. You're judging by the state of this. I'd say not. What's the use in being a disgrace to the name of Wizard if they don't even pay you well for it? We have a very different idea about what disgraces the name of Wizard, Malfoy. Clearly. Associating with muggles. And I thought your family could sink no lower. I'll see you at work. Already here, Fudge. Good. What are you doing here? Believe me, I take absolutely no pleasure being inside your... I call this a house. Hmm. No, I simply called up the school and was told the headmaster was here. The other governors and I have decided it's time for you to step aside. This is an order of suspension. We'll find all 12 signatures on it. I'm afraid we feel you've rather lost your touch. We're what with all these attacks. There'll be no Muggleborns left at Hogwarts. I can only imagine what an awful loss that would be to the school. You think so? Step aside. 
you will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts. Admirable sentiments, shall we? Hot. Out of my way, Potter. So, it's true, you have returned. Ridiculous. Curiously, Lucius, several of them were under the impression that you would curse their families if they did not agree to suspend me in the first place. How dare you? I beg your pardon. My sole concern has always been, and will always be, the welfare of this school and, of course, its students. The culprit has been identified, I presume? Oh, yes. And? Who was it? Ah. Only... But this time, he chose to act through somebody else by means of this. I see. Fortunately, our young Mr. Potter discovered it. One hopes that no more of Lord Voldemort's old school things should find their way into innocent hands. The consequences for the one responsible would be severe. Well, let us hope that Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Don't worry. I will be. Dumbledore. Come, Dobby. We're leaving. <laughs> Mr. Malfoy. Mr. Malfoy. I have something of yours. Mine? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, sir. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. You do? Do you? Dobby a sock. What? I didn't... Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. You lost me, my servant! You shall not harm Harry Potter. Meddlesome fools, too. Mark my words, Potter. One day soon, you are going to meet the same sticky end. How can Dobby ever repay him? Blimey, Dad. How far up are we? Well, put it this way. If it rains... You'll be the first to know. <laughs> Father and I are in the minister's box. By personal invitation of Cornelius Fudge himself. Don't boast, Draco. There's no need with these people. Do enjoy yourself, won't you? While you can. As though it were only yesterday. I confess myself 
Not even you. Lucius. My lord, and I detected any sign or whisper of your whereabouts. There were signs, my slippery friend, and more than whispers. I assure you, my lord, I have never renounced the old ways. The face I have been obliged to present each day since your absence. That is my true mask. Oh, I'd almost forgotten you were here, standing on the bones of my father. I'd introduce you, but word has it you're almost as famous as me. How lies have fed your legend, Harry. Shall I reveal what really happened that truly lost my powers? I... Go on, Potter. <laughs> Come on now, Harry, the niceties must be observed. No! Crucio! Crucio! I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. I want to see the light! Have it your way. Where's Sirius? You know, you really should learn to tell the difference between dreams and reality. You saw only what the Dark Lord wanted you to see. Now hand me the prophecy. You do anything to us, I'll break it. <laughs> he knows how to play. How's Mum and Dad? Better now they're about to be avenged. Now let's everybody just calm down. Jeffrey, all we want is that prophecy. Why did Voldemort need me to come and get this? You dare speak his name. You filthy half blood! It's all right, it's just a curious lad, aren't you? Prophecies can only be retrieved by those about whom they are made. Which is lucky for you, really. Haven't you always wondered what was the reason for the connection between you and the Dark Lord? Hmm? Why he was unable to kill you when you were just an infant? Don't you want to know the secret of your scar? All the answers are there, bottom oh, in your hand. All you have to do is give it to me, and I can show you everything. I've waited 14 years. I know. I guess I can wait a little longer. Now! But were you truly naive enough to think that children stood a chance against us? I'll make this simple for you, Potter. Give me the prophecy now, or watch your friends die.
Get away from my godson. <laughs> Do you bring news, I trust? It will happen Saturday next. Well, they got that right then, haven't they? <laughs> to myself for this task. I want to kill the boy. Bloodlust, Bellatrix. I must be the one to kill Harry Potter. But, I... If I am to kill him, I must do it with another's wand. about you, Lucius. My lord. My lord. I require your wand. Do I detect Elm? Yes, my lord. And the call. Dragon. <clears throat> Dragon Heartstring. Dragon Heartstring. Sure. Look closely, son. If we are the ones to hand Potter over to the Dark Lord, everything will be forgiven. All will be as it was, you understand? No, we won't be forgetting who actually caught him. I hope, Mr. Malfoy. You dare to talk to me like that in my own house? Yes. Don't be shy. Give me a wand. We'll see what her last spell was. Uh, I got you. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Are you mad? Stupid elf! You could have killed me! Dobby never meant to kill! 
Dobby only meant to maim or seriously injure. How dare you take a witch's wand? Be less, uh, might it not be more prudent to call off this attack? Simply seek the boy yourself. I do. He will come to me, do you understand? Look at me. How can you live with yourself, Lucius? I don't know. Go and find Severus. Bring him to me. Dead? Harry Potter is dead. From this day forth, you put your faith in me. Harry Potter is dead! <laughs> 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 And now is the time to declare yourself. Come forward and join us. Trico. Draco. Draco. Well done, Draco. Oh. And who might you be, young man? Never long bottom. <laughs> Well, Neville, I'm sure we can find a place for you in our rank. I'd like to say something. Well, Neville, I'm sure we'd all be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Friends? Family? Yeah. We lost Harry tonight. Still with us. And here, they didn't die in vain. But you will, because you're wrong. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us, for all of us. This is not over. Come, Frank, 
Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 